having taken various online filmmaking courses including how to color grade, I've selected the best and simplest strategies on how to achieve cinematic looking footage every time in the easiest way possible. What you are about to learn is going to help you go from this to this and from this to this and this to this. You'll save time, establish a structured video editing process, and produce visually stunning content that will captivate your audience every time. Let's jump right into it. I used to spend an endless amount of time trying to save my clips from the flat and lackluster profile that comes out of the camera when you're shooting in love. And then after working on it for hours and hours, I'd look at it after a while and think it looked worse than when I started and all the colors were completely off. And I just wasted a bunch of time. So now I've broken down my process into four simple steps to achieve great footage. And the first step is just to get your footage looking normal again starting with using one simple LUT, and that is the Stallman LUT. It works wonders. It restores normal contrast and color and just makes your image look really natural. Of course, after a few adjustments because every clip is different. And you can get it for just $10, which I think is a steal. I'll leave the link below. But if you don't feel like purchasing a LUT, there's another way you can do it. To get your footage to look normal before you start stylizing it, just raise the contrast and the saturation to the absolute max in Lumetri. And then start to play around with the exposure and the blacks to get the most normal looking image. And then finally, to adjust the warmth of the image, go to the Creative tab and boost the saturation again. Now the image is going to look super weird at first, but you can use that coloring to see what's wrong. So if it's super warm, you'll be able to tell, or if it's too cool, you'll be able to tell. Same with the tint. And once you're done, put that saturation right back down. And now you have a pretty normal looking clip and are ready for the second step. All right, it's time to dive into a crucial part of color grading, and that is skin tones. Because if you don't get these right, your footage is going to look really weird and your people are going to look either sick or just not natural. So what you're gonna do is, once again, create a new Lumetri section and we're gonna play with the sliders in the HSL section. Here's the trick. Grab that eyedropper and click it onto this person's skin. Once you've got them, tweak the sliders to make sure that areas you don't want to affect are grayed out. And areas you want to affect, you can see the color fully. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and start making those changes to make it look as natural as you need it to. This next trick might make you feel like, yes, I've heard this a billion times before. Everyone and their dog has done this tutorial, but it's for good reason. It's the best trick and definitely my favorite because it adds a certain depth to your videos. You'll see what I mean. And this really simple trick makes them look a lot more cinematic as well. I know that word is overused nowadays, but I don't really know how else to describe that. But you have to go easy on it because if you overdo it, your footage is gonna look really unnatural and quite dark and it's not gonna look very professional and that is the teal and orange look. So here's a step-by-step. -step. Go to the color grading tab, and then in the shadow section, slide the little cross down into the teal zone, so between the greens and the blues, and just pick a color that looks pretty nice in your image. It'll differ a little bit between videos. But the important thing is make sure that the cross is near the middle of the shadow circle, because the further you go, the more intense the effect. And like I said, you don't want it to be too intense. Next, in the highlight section, grab the cross and drag that to the orange section. And once again, play around a little bit because sometimes a little more yellow or a little more pink goes better with that video. And again, keep that cross near the center of the circle. And finally, one thing that I like to add in is adding a little bit of yellow to the midtones, and I really mean just a little bit. I think it just evens the image out a little bit. And then once you've done that, voila, you have a beautiful looking clip. And my last trick for you is more if you like that kind of film, older camera look. There's an easy way to achieve this by just going back to that creative tab and lower the slider from the shadows to almost the bottom, about three quarters of the way. Do the same with the highlights and then raise the midtones, and you'll see it gives you that faded look. And you can also add some grain on top of that if you want to go the extra mile. So there you have it, just a few simple steps to save you a ton of time and make editing a breeze. But as much as color grading makes a great video, you still really need to think about the contents of your video and what you're gonna film and how you're gonna film it. 
And I know I personally get stuck sometimes and run out of ideas. So I've made some videos for you guys here on different cinematic shot ideas you can use or some simple transitions to just up the energy of your videos. That's all for today. Don't forget to comment below on what you'd like to see next week and like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next week with another editing trick or travel video. Pro tip, lighting a candle and just letting the smoke go gives you some natural haze in the room. But make sure you don't leave these wispy bits as that looks unnatural, just fan it out a little bit before you start filming.